Hi guys, it's Sarah, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well wherever you are. Today in Newcastle, it is starting to get hot again. Um, but, ha 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 ha, I am taking you through my Lush Liverpool, Liverpool? Liverpool haul. I've got it all out in front of me. I actually thought I had more uh than what i did um but i'm going to take you through everything that i have and the prices and just my general experience of going to the lush liverpool uh store for the first time so if you like the sound of that we're going to dive straight into it As you know, me and Alex went to the Liverpool, uh, well, went to Liverpool, and we decided to go to the Liverpool spa shop, the world's largest lush. And you know, it wouldn't be a trip to Liverpool without going there anyway. But I definitely wanted to go out because it's just new, well, it's just new, it's been around for a couple of years, and I really wanted to see how it looked because it's a brand new concept design store. And um, if you haven't seen what it looks like inside, I posted a mini vlog, I'll leave the link around here or down below for you guys to click afterwards um, showing you around the shop it kind of looks like a cross between a department store and a hotel lots of lovely reclaimed dark brown wood gold um, the recycled pot countertops it was absolutely stunning and it didn't smell like a traditional lush like it had like a lush ish smell to it but like not strong and I don't know if that's a cross between it being on um, a high street so it's got that fresh air going through there and also because it's just so big it also and also when I think about it because it also had a lot more exclusives in there that aren't in as many shops I don't know it just doesn't have that typical lush smell the shop as well as being filled with lots of like wood and gold kind of embellishments it had a lot of greenery in there from real and fake plants and um, I think you know with with a lot of lush shops keeping real plants is quite hard just because of the light lighting situation and the heat um but the plants that were there were gorgeous and i love cheese plants i'll leave a picture here of what i mean monstera something or other um, and there was lots of lovely fresh greenery in there that really offset against the kind of brown and gold uh, kind of theme that they had going on there so for anyone who doesn't know um, the Liverpool shop I think was just like a little shop and it got bigger and it has a lot of exclusives in it I think if I'm gonna be honest the exclusives have got smaller since it opened because they didn't have the liquid foundations that they used to do and they didn't have um, some of the fresh items that they used to have in the Liverpool shop when it opened um, the Liverpool store with it being so big also has loads of different things that, that a normal like anchor shop would have in so it has a hair lab it has a coffee shop a perfume library little and, and record library all in one it has a party room it has like the top floor um, before you go to the spa because it has a spa in it as well which has like bath bombs and things like that in but I know that it, at Christmas time it gets transformed into the Christmas floor it's just a really interesting shop and they also have at the very front of the shop when you go in a florist on the right hand side and then what looks like a fresh counter where people are potting up fresh stuff on uh, really 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 quickly on the when I say really really quickly daily um, so speaking of fresh things I um, got some fresh items when I went down there I made sure to take all my black and clear pots and bottles and sprays if you didn't know you can bring back any bit any full-size bit of plastic from Lush and you get 50 pence off at the till I took 113 pieces of Lush plastic with me and I got some free fresh face masks and some money off at the till so shall I show you what we got because I feel like I've talked a lot and not shown you anything so first thing I got I'm going to show you the fresh stuff because this was as soon as you came in I got an OG exclusive this is Prince of Darkness and this you can get at Oxford Street I think you can get at Birmingham and potentially mm, maybe even Manchester I'm not too sure but I really really love this one I, I will say I think all the face masks 
They might be a little bit drier than what they normally are because it was so hot in Liverpool when we went. It was about 32 degrees and it got to the point where we couldn't we couldn't stay out. We had to keep going back to the hotel. So I think some of them are a little bit firmer than what they would normally be because I know this to be a little bit looser, but it smells heavenly. This is better for oily skin, but there's something about this fresh face mask that I can't stop myself from getting every time I go to a big anchor shop in the UK because it smells so good. It's It's got this gentle scrub and if you gently blow on yourself, on your skin, it warms up. It smells amazing. So it says, off the rails exfoliation, we're on a crazy train, heading for absorbent charcoal and full as earth to cleanse from depths. Get a little nod there, a little bit of Ozzy Osbourne. Um, so what you've got in there is glycerin, kaolin, full as earth, uh, powdered charcoal, labdanum resinoid, patchouli oil, a tincture of benzoin, lavender oil, fine sea salt. This smells so beautiful. You can really smell like the patchouli in there. It smells almost a little bit aniseedy, but I can't see anything in there that would say otherwise. And it does give you a fine exfoliation. It's not the same kind of scrub as say don't look at me but you can definitely feel that scrub when it happens all the fresh face masks in this size pot are nine pounds but they're free if you bring back five pieces of lush plastic it used to be five black or clear pots but now it includes all lush plastics we have a new face mask this is matcha i'm going to open it up i'm very excited about this one Ooh. Wow, that's not what I thought it would look like. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's got, oh, oh my God. Is that love lettuce? Have they made love lettuce again? What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna read the ingredients out here and I'm gonna put the love lettuce ingredients here because this smells just like love lettuce and I've got to have a feel. So I'm just putting some on the back of my hands. It doesn't feel the same as Love Lettuce. I will say it's it's got some colour. Color. It's weird, the colour. It's like the colour's not been maybe mixed in as well. Because when I'm... Ah, oh, there we go. When I'm mixing it... Is that spirulina? It smells amazing. It smells... It doesn't smell like matcha tea. But obviously it'll have it in there. But it says, matcha made, a matcha made in heaven. Fresh lemon juice, antioxidant matcha, and rich spirulina. I knew there was spirulina in there. Brighten and feed the skin while kaolin, jojoba, and even primrose oil leave it soft, toned, and cleansed. So it has glycerin, kaolin, talc, lemon juice, organic cold press, even in primrose oil, organic jojoba oil, spirulina powder, clary sage oil, matcha powder. Love Lettuce is my favorite fresh face mask, RIP, and it got discontinued. Um, so when I thought there for a second that that was love lettuce, I nearly died. Now I've got a confession to make. This is date night and I opened this up um, last night to use it because I wanted a face mask with my bath and this smells amazing. It is not what I thought it was going to look like and it's not what I thought it was going to smell like. In my head, I love dates, figs and prunes. I love them so much. And when I was thinking of date night face mask, I was expecting it to be the consistency of a Danone prune yogurt. Okay, so quite liquidy with strands of the fibrous fruit. Obviously prunes and dates are kind of similar, but they're not the same. Anyway, it says for, uh, date night. Get ready for a date night with this skin softening face mask. A moisturizing golden linseed infusion, coconut cream and dates. So dates are quite moisturizing as well. And and you can see my little fingers have been in here and it's quite a thick cream again because of um, it being really hot when we've been out I'm wondering if any li excess liquids that would have been in here have absorbed a little bit they have been in the fridge but I'm just because of the heat but I did find that this was quite a stiff um, face mask to apply but oh my god it smells amazing it smells kind of nostalgic and I can't think why. Um, so I'm going to read the ingredients. It's, uh, should I, right, I'm, you should know what it smells like. It's floral and herbal. It's got like a medicinal smell to it. And that medicinal-esque scent is really pungent. You can really smell it and it's great. It smells really good. 
So we'll look at the ingredients. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself when I'm um, when I'm checking these out. So we've got kaolin, glycerin, a golden linseed decoction, talc, organic cream coconut, dried dates, fair trade organic cocoa butter, ylang ylang oil. There you go. It's the ylang ylang oil. I will say my skin did not feel dry after this at all. It didn't really have a scrub, but it did feel like it sucked out like some excess oils and just general grime and stuff like that and I really like this fresh face mask. I'm going to try all three um, and I'll let you know in my faves and fails which ones are my favourites. Prince of Darkness, even though it's completely not right for my skin type, will always have a special place in my heart because of how it smells and how it feels and reminding me of going to London and getting my black pots and taking them there and treating myself to a fresh face mask. So yeah. And the last um, cold fresh face, uh, well, fresh body mask, should I say, it's something new, it's a body mask, is Peach Mignon, um, or Peach Mignon. And I have not opened this up, and again, in my head, how I see it is like a peach yogurt. So chunks of peach with the fibres of the peach being light, light pink, and I have pretty much like a peach yogurt, essentially. And I've not opened it and I've not smelled it, but it says it's time to get hands on with this cheeky body mask designed to bring people together. A fruity rendezvous of ripe peach flesh and freshly squeezed lemon juice swirled in soya yogurt. See, this is what I mean about yogurt leaves you wanting more. So it says, take a generous handful of the mask and apply to the body you really like. Repeat until you're all covered, then wait up, wait for 10 minutes. What you do in those 10 minutes is up to you before rinsing away with water. I feel like this is supposed to be a little bit naughty, but I mean, it's a body mask and, oh, that smells amazing. And yes, it does look like a yogurt. There's a little bit of separation there. That, oh, it smells so yummy. That'll be again, because we had no fridge, in the hotel. I'm just going to stir it round. Hang on. Can you hear that? Stir it round and, and kind of just smooth some out on the back of my hand. It smells really fruity, creamy and yogurty. Obviously it's very clean. It's got a very soft sort of feeling to it and it's a light baby pink. For some reason in my head I was expecting big chunks of peach. Again a bit probably like a yogurt but it feels lovely and smooth and ooh this smells divine why do we not have <gasps> do you know what this would be lovely well it as a as, as a all year round item for all the shops but oh I think this would be nice as a body lotion this is a really it's fruity but it has like a floral to it like a fresh floral like a light, fresh floral smell. That's beautiful. And I absolutely can't wait to use that. And again, I will keep you updated. I'm just gonna wipe the back of my hand. Um, feels very nice. So I don't know um, if that is supposed to tone the skin, make it feel firmer, but let's read the ingredients. We have got fresh peach soya yogurt. Oh, I'm just gonna take this, I'm just gonna move the, the sticker out the way because I can't see the ingredients. Ah. <laughs> It doesn't taste good. Okay, so it has fresh peach, soya yogurt, kaolin, fresh lemon juice, whole wood oil, jasmine absolute, Sicilian lemon oil, lemongrass oil, neroli oil, osmansis absolute, rose absolute, rose oil, and litsy cubeba with fresh rose petals. I think that litsy cubeba really does um, lift the, the, the scent, adds like that citrusy note, but the rose, and I'm not normally a rose person, really, 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 um, just give it that something special and um, also it says work best when applied by someone else if you didn't know behind the compounder stickers there's normally a cheeky little message I'm gonna give my hands a little wash and I'll be right back okay so I've washed my hands they feel really good so the peach peach and mignon uh, fresh body mask is 12 pounds full price um, and you get a 120 grams so it's a slightly bit bigger because obviously you're applying it to your body um, also, apologies for the lighting. It's it's kind of sunsetting, so I'm in a bit of an awkward squeeze because I've been at work. Um, the next thing that was around the corner from it was a little section with lots of little logs on there. And when I say logs, that's, they look really cute, but they are the fresh clay cleansers and also the new sugar rolls. And it would seem that in the Liverpool store that all the naked cleansers and the sugar rolls are naked, they're not potted, but they come in these really cute, 
I've got three here. These really cute little rolls. And some of the clay cleansers have had a glow, like Aqua Marina is like this beautiful iridescent blue colour. It's quite uh, mesmerising. So I'm going to open them up one by one. They're all £9. The first one is the Bjork Sugar Cleanser. So you just literally, a bit like the aloe bamboo roll, you're going to break a bit off, mix it with water into a paste and then massage it into your skin. And then it says, you know how your skin likes to feel, so experiment with how much scrub and water you want to use. So I do it so that the um, the consistency of the scrub is like a medium paste, like it's loose, but not super watery. So in the Bjork cleanser roll, we have golden caster sugar, ground cannellini beans, glycerin, a dookie flour, fair trade organic cocoa butter, coriander seed oil, fine ground oatmeal, oatmeal and blue spirulina with fresh colonche flowers. I can't promise that the flowers look good because I've had it for over a week now, Oh, and then each one is wrapped in some grease proof. So let's have a little look in here. Yeah. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So this is the Bjork one. And it just smells medicinal. It doesn't really have a particular scent, like the aloe bamboo roll um, smells really like fresh and lemongrassy. This doesn't really have a particular scent, but it smells pleasant. I'm gonna put that over there so I don't um, lose it. I'm gonna open up this one. This is the Murumuru on the Wall Sugar Cleanser, and this has golden caster sugar, talc, maru, uh, maru, maru butter, glycerin, almond milk, fair trade organic cocoa butter, bergamot oil, olibanum oil, carrot seed oil, litsi kubeba oil, neroli oil, tangerine oil, helichrysium italicum oil, I don't know what that means. And then those Calanche, cal cal Calancho flowers. I'm so sorry for pronouncing this all very, very wrong. This one sounds quite brightening. It sounds quite rich in oils and maybe a little bit on the moisturizing and soothing side. I like the little boxes. The little boxes are just so sweet. So it doesn't look, when you look at it, that's what it is there. Oh, this smells nice. This, you can really smell the tangerine oil, really citrusy. I actually think this might be coming in a Fresh and Flowers box or something that looks very similar to it anyway. This smells lovely and citrusy and light and it's actually quite a, a girthy looking, looking guy. I'm gonna put that there. And the last one we have is uh, Oaty Muck Oat Face. A little ode to Boaty Muck Boat Face, I imagine, the boat that the nation named. So if you're not from the UK, uh, we got to name a, a royal boat, I think. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. And the nation chose Boaty Muck Boat Face. Hey, what can I say? Um, and this has golden caster sugar, kaolin, glycerin, old flour, oat milk, fair trade organic cocoa butter, gold, something or other it's been cut off, cedarwood oil and then those calancho flowers. This obviously is perfect for really dry sensitive skin. I would even say it sounds a little bit like dream creamy. This one is quite hard. Let's have a look. Oh that is hard but there we go. It looks like oaty fix that's what I meant to say. I think it's the cedarwood oil there's, a, there's a, a freshness to it, like a, a, well there's a milkiness to it, oh, because there's oat milk in it, but this gold something or other, it, it, um, it smells like it has a, like a slight freshness to it, but there was a, an oat body scrub years ago that the naked shops used to sell, it was square, I'll see if I can put it up here, uh, that I had. And it, instead of using like a hard scrub, like a salt or a sugar, it used oats. And so it was very gentle, but still like giving you a bit of a scrub. And it has a similar smell to this, but this smells so much nicer than, than that. But that is very hard. And that is all of the fresh cleansers. I'm trying to go through each section of the shop with you. So I kind of don't lose my trail of thought. 
So literally right next to it, we had a little kind of afternoon tea set that had scrubs on and, 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 and things like that. These are scrubs that were exclusive to the Naked shops when they were there and also I think some new ones as well. So the first one that was an exclusive to the Naked shop, which I've not tried, but there was at the time when they came out an old version as well. This is Mud Body Mask and Mud Body Mask full price is 650. It reminded me of like cupcake but for your body. So it says body body butters better if used when you're wet. Glide these bars over your skin uh, that's lovely and wet in the bath or shower to release conditioning power of nourishing butters and simply rinse off before getting out and patting jelly. If I'm being honest, I'm glad I read that description because I would have assumed that you put that on a bit like a, a naked version of Picha Mignon and leave it soak in it and rinse off. Always read the instructions, but it has Rizul Mud, Sodium Bicarb, Glycerin, Fair Trade, Organic Sesame Oil, Cream of Tartar, Cocoa Powder, Brazilian Orange Oil, Myrrh Resonoid, Vanilla Absolute. So I imagine this is going to smell a lot like maybe the either cupcake or the bunny sugar scrubs from a few years ago, but this is what it looks like. It literally looks like a brownie. Like, or, oh no, or a black void. Oh, it smells really good. Yeah, it smells like the, the chocolate little bunny uh, sugar scrub, but it's got a density to it. It's almost as well, it smells like, like a vegan chocolate truffle. It smells really, really lovely and I'm very excited to try this, but I can't believe how much this looks like a brownie. It smells, it also, it does have a floral to it. I think it must be the, um, the Myrrh Resonoid adds like a, a slight a decadent kind of floral scent to it. And then the next thing we had is the Himalayan, I'm, I'm reading my receipt, the Himalayan rock salt scrub with strawberry and ginger shower scrub. That's a, that's a, that's a mouthful. And that is five pounds full price. There was another scrub there and I didn't get it because I didn't like the smell of it. Um, I'm not gonna buy things that I don't like the smell of if there's options and things like that because it just, it was, it did not, I did not care for it. But this is it here. It's kind of like a hexagon and it smells really fruity. You can smell the strawberry for sure. Not in, a, not in an artificial way, very much in a, a fresh strawberry kind of scent, but that ginger adds a bit of warmth, a little bit of spice, but not in a gingerbread way like in a fresh ginger way. That strawberry smells really, really good. So obviously it's got Himalayan salt in it because that's in the name. It has, I'm so sorry, I have to look down because it's stuck on the thing. It's got Himalayan rock salt, kaolin, ground white rice. I love when they put ground white rice and stuff because it's such a fine scrub. Fresh strawberries, sodium bicarb, glycerin, cream of tartar, uh, muru muru butter, fresh ginger juice, extra virgin coconut oil, strawberry extract, ginger oil, pink pepper oil, ooh, stimulating. Jasmine absolute, benzoin resonoid, geranium oil, ylang ylang oil, Brazilian orange oil, divana oil, yeah, the, and then you've got titanium dioxide. Yeah, the, um, the divana oil definitely makes it smell juicy. And I've mentioned this before in other videos, divana oil is used in things like peachy bath bomb. So it adds like a really fruity, juicy scent to it. And that pink pepper, I don't know if I can smell it in there, but it will definitely add a depth and should add like a stimulating property into it. A bit like the pepper that is in Hottie and like things like Lord of Misrule and stuff like that. Okay, so that section next to it was like the, uh, the Enfluage massage bar rolls. And then there was like a little deodorant stand, which is what I imagine that the, the sugar scrub there, like the, the mold that it was pressing, it looks a lot like the teal version. Um, because the teal in like an anchor shop looks like a hexagon, whereas in a normal shop, it's an oval and they kind of look a little bit like that. So I'm wondering if that is the case. So everything I pick up here is what I found in the hair care section. It's not necessarily all the hair care I bought, but I'm gonna leave the hair, the, the bits that maybe I've got um, at a different part of the shop 
in a different part of the section. I will say right now, I absolutely forgot to pick up a protein shampoo. I'm absolutely kicking myself. They had three protein shampoos, which I've put in my uh, vlog, and I forgot to pick it up, and I'm annoyed at myself because it seems like such a, a cool concept, and I, yeah, I'm just foaming that I, that I did that. Well, anyway, in the Liverpool store, there was avocado co-wash and three other co-washes. There was coconut, banana, and mango. I wasn't actually really gonna pick up any of the co-washes, um, but my friend Daniel was like, Sarah, if you've got Liverpool, can you grab me a slice of the mango co-wash? And I was like, oh my God, mango. And I'm glad I did, because I picked up a slice here and it smells amazing. So I'm gonna open this up. I don't have the ingredients, but I will try and put it up here if I can find it. The banana one also, well they all smell great. I'm not a coconutty person, as you may know. Um, but the banana one smelled lovely. It wasn't like foam artificial bananas. It was really nice. But there's something about that mango smell. This is what it looks like, bright orange. And it just smells so tropical and just fruity and delicious. I'm really sad actually that there's no ingredients on the stickers for the really new stuff. But it smelt fab and it's 10 pounds per 100 grams. So I got it at 96 grams. So pretty close. And I can't wait to try this and have a go at what it feels like. I used to love the old style avocado co-wash where they had the red wax around it. I've not used the new one because I've got a couple of shampoo bars that I'm trying to use up. But I'm going to give this one a try because I would like a creamy lather. And I know that the, the co-washes don't have SLS in it anymore. They have a slightly different lathering agent made from coconuts. I'll double check that. Um, so it's a lot more gentler on the hair. So if you are sensitive to uh, stripping of color in your hair, or if you want something a little bit more gentler, but still giving that lovely creamy lather, give the co-washes a go, definitely. Um, I'm gonna put that there. The next thing I got, because they also have some exclusive conditioners, and I don't know why I didn't pick up Valkyrie as well. Uh, I was I was just so hot, I was so flustered, I was melting, and I really can't wait to go back to Liverpool again and explore it when it is not so hot. But what I have here is this is Argus, and Argus is a silver conditioner. This would pair it beautifully with Dadio and I don't know why this isn't out uh, around with Dadio so that you can pair it up but it says it's time to banish brassy tones this is for the bottle blondes and lighter hair bursting with fresh plum juice and oil to strengthen and brighten you could say plums a word so it is plum rain scented I'm going to open this up you can see how thick it is look at that can you see that it looks like a lipstick oh, it is plum rain scented it smells amazing but it actually has a colour 60725 in there, which, yeah, which will be the toning agent. It's not the same shade as Dadio. Dadio is like a very pinky purple. This is more like a cool tone blue purple, which I don't know a lot of, if you a lot of you know, but I have been very lots of different colours over the years. And when you use a silver toner, it is blue. It's like this purpley blue colour and it, it tones your hair a lovely silver grey colour. But I can't wait to try it. And I only got a little bottle to try out because I do have some other conditioner on the go. And plus I want to, because I do love Candy Rain. Candy Rain is in my heart. So I don't want to feel like I want to buy a big bottle and then be like stuck with it because I like Candy Rain more than Argan. But if I like it, I, can, I think it's on the website. But you've got water, linseed gel, you've got organic virgin plum oil, argan oil, ethyl macadamia, uh, which is, uh, I think it's like a smoothing component from uh, macadamia oil. Capuchu, I think this is differently every time. But uh, a fresh plum juice, plum bal balsamic vinegar, wow, I don't think I've seen that ingredient before. Osmanseth, Obmansus Absolute Petit Green Oil Sicilian Red Mandarin Oil. So super, super, super juicy. But I also want to put in here as well, this does have hydrolyzed wheat gluten. A lot of the newer exclusive items in Liverpool, such as like the protein shampoos that come in slices, have the hydrolyzed wheat. So if you are um, sensitive to gluten, maybe ask for a sample. I think you should be fine if it's topical and not ingested, but I know some people are very, very sensitive to it. But the hydrolyzed wheat gluten, I think it's good for smoothing the hair and strengthening the hair. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's there to, for a reason. But it does smell amazing and I can't wait. And that was on my receipt. 
it's nine pounds for a small bottle and it even says silver conditioner so it is going to tone the hair so if you do have white hair salt and pepper hair blonde hair and silver hair it's going to tone it so i'm very excited to try this then i picked up a bottle of shield and um, this is a heat kind of almost like a heat protection serum so it says protect and condition your hair from heat chemical processing and the elements with this hydrating serum with the help of coconut and macadamia oil so i'm going to have a smell oh it smells amazing i'm going to actually i'll pump some out of my hand because i've not done that yet i'm gonna oh look at that it's like i'm icing a cake and it smells like floral fruity. It reminds me of working the showcase in 2017 at Christmas time. It shares its smell with a perfume. Right, if anybody knows what Shield shares its scent with. Oh, what is that? That's a perfume. Oh, I can't think what that is, but it, I'm just, I'm gonna have very soft hands and heat protected hands. That smells incredible so it says pump a small amount into the hands and apply to mid lengths and ends of damp hair before blow drying ethyl oh there we go ethyl macadamide and alternative to silicones cause the hair to protect from heat and humidity without weighing it down there we go learn something new but it has cashew nut cream a cashew cream sorry horsetail herb infusion which used to be in a foot cream which now I can't remember what one it was. I'll put it over here. Uh, the ethyl uh, macadamite, water, xanthan gum, benzoin resinoid, benzoin resinoid, tonka absolute, extra virgin coconut oil, organic cold pressed grapeseed oil, macadamia nut oil. Mmm. What is that smell? I can't think, but I'm really excited to try this on my hair. When Candy Rain came out, it blew my socks off. Love Candy Rain. Okay, so then we went round and they had the hair lab on but no one was there. And now I totally regret not getting my hair cut because my hair is so disgusting and long and just horrible and I hate it. And I wish I got my hair cut now. But they had the perfume section in the coffee shop there. They also had the body shops on a conveyor belt. And they had um, the perfume library which had books and records in it as well. They didn't have any fragrances that are really stood out to me. I did smell Sapo, which I've been wanting to smell for a while, which is like a, a tobacco leaf based perfume from, there was four perfumes that came out from the perfume library, which was Sapo, Nero, Confetti, and I think it was Fresh Eyes. I'm not too sure, I can't think. There was another one. And Sapo was the only one I hadn't smelt by the time that I got to Liverpool. So when I smelt, I was very excited to have a, a whiff. It was lovely, but it wasn't something that I could see myself wearing. And there wasn't really any other exclusive fragrances that I wanted to buy. Um, I was kind of hoping for maybe they were having some exclusive um, body sprays. Maybe they would have had hold of maybe like Jungle or Yoga Balm or Turmeric Latte or something like that in the shop, but they didn't. So that's a shame because I would have definitely got a Yoga Balm and a Jungle. I'm still kicking myself about not getting a Jungle. I love the Jungle smell and I would love that in more, more things kicking myself I mean I do have a bottle of turmeric latte but you know you can never have enough then we went upstairs to the first floor and next to the first floor was a big bath filled with intergalactic bath bombs kind of showcasing the parties and when you go up the stairs it's an open plan floor and on the left hand side there was the party room which was cordoned off because there was no parties there and on a wall was loads of the knot wraps but as a print so you could buy as actual artwork on the wall. This, they were roughly around about 35 pounds each and but didn't come with a frame. And for me, if, if, it, if I'm being honest, I think I would have just rather have framed a knot wrap. But they were beautiful. They were beautiful, beautiful prints. Just, I'd rather just frame a knot wrap if it was me. There wasn't much in the way of swag that I didn't already have. They had the, I don't have it to hand, but the red, a kind of a rose like kind of with the big mouth um, I'm not describing this very well it had a yellow and blue background it was like lush life um, thing that I got from the naked shop so I did a couple of those not much swag in terms of wear because I would have totally bought some even though you don't get money off so I was a little bit like oh okay mm. and then they didn't have any of the lush coffee cups because I would have bought one of them so I was a bit like oh okay unless I couldn't see 
for looking. I'll get one next time. They had two big sections of bath bombs. The exclusive bath bombs they had was um, Marshmallow World, uh, Melazine, and Turmeric Latte bath bomb. So it's gotta be done. I love Turmeric Latte. It's an unreal bath bomb, and I'm gutted we don't have it in the shop all the time. And it's just a lovely, comforting, musky scent that is full of gold sparkles and it's an absolutely, truly decadent pamper. So if you've not had a turmeric latte, I really, really, really recommend you getting one if you're at a big shop like Liverpool, Oxford Street, Birmingham. I don't know why I'm trying to burp. Mm. But yes, I definitely recommend getting it because it is a truly, truly, truly lovely bath and you do smell fantastic at the end of it. And I just remembered, I haven't told you how much Shield is. I'm really bad at my job. £15 and then your turmeric latte is... Turmeric latte? £6.95. So as well upstairs they had a little section for shower jellies and they had a lot of exclusive shower jellies. Bongo, Rumba, and now I can't think of any other ones. Bongo smelled amazing. It was like really tropical and fruity. I got one for the guys at work. Rumba, I think... Oh! It smells like needles and pine. Gong smells like golden pear. And there's a black one, and I can't think what that is. And then you've got Conga, which is in all the shops. They only had one exclusive lip product, which was none of your beeswax. I don't really wear lip balm, so I'm not gonna buy it. But I do like fun, and they had so much fun. And I, I, ugh, I regret not buying more. I only bought two and mine are melted and squished because it was, again, really, really hot. Fun is a multi-use product. You can shampoo with it, play with it, mold it, uh, wash with it. I like to shave with it because you can see where you've been. So I've not actually opened any of this up, but this is black fun. It says, Every artist needs to define their work, so squish and mold this multi-purpose bar into charcoal coloured creations with a soothing scent of bergamot and olibanum. The cloth in me had to get the black. Uh, fun. Ooh, what is that? No. That is like super fruity. Oh, I can't think. I'm just going to pull a bit out. I can't think what that is. Oh, I, I can't put my finger on it, but it's really, like, it's like a very light fruity smell, that uh, bergamot and asmanthus, that's really lovely. If anybody knows what black, is it blackberry scented? I mean, it would make sense. Bergamot olibanum, yeah. So it has cornflower, towel, glycerin, bergamot, but it says what's inside counts. Olibanum, also known as frankincense, it's commonly used in incense for its soothing effect on the mind. We gather our oil from sustainable sources in Somaliland. Hmm. And also, just so you know, it says here as well, uh, good to know, this wrapper is made from a certified home compostable material. Just remove the label. So this is another thing as well, not from Lush, but other companies saying that their stuff is compostable. So it makes you believe that if you put it into your home compost bin, that it would break down. But most of the time, it means compostable by high heat composters and not home ones. So that's fantastic that these can go in your home compost bin. And then the other one I picked up was green. It's supposed to be, uh, it says if I think it's like an apple smell but I'm not too sure it says if you're partial to a lovely glass of lemonade this thingy bar will really hit the spot oh I thought it could be apple for some reason um, take it without the eyes and a slice but add the lime oil for a really juicy lava hmm is this just gonna be like the green oh wow that is limey that's just like a really tangy lime fruit pastel that's lovely and this has lime oil lemon oil in it with all the other bits yeah, the other one that I actually uh, got for the shop, uh, for the guys at work, was the silver one and the orange one. And I didn't smell the orange one, but I smelt the silver one. And I totally regret not getting one for myself because the, the silver one was like really tropical and lovely. They are five pounds each. No, 3 95 each, full price. I think 3 95 for a block like that, that's fantastic. Yeah, I thought they were five pounds. I was wondering what I do when I was at the till. I was like, I had it in my mind that like an amount that I wanted to spend, and I didn't feel like I hit that. So I was like, oh yeah, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just have this and this to add on. And I honestly thought that they would be more, but there you go. I'm really impressed with the price of that. Three ninety five, spot on. We had a little look around the top, this top floor. Um, nothing really 
spoke to me. I did really enjoy the bath bomb conveyor belt that looked a little bit like your sushi. That was kind of cool. Uh, but nothing really rang out to me. Um, so we went downstairs and we went to go pay. And I have to say, I love the Till Point downstairs. It is this beautiful, old fashioned style department store backing. Um, that was in a rainbow a display of products. Uh, very eye-catching and beautiful, and just the way it was laid out was fantastic, but very like old school. It kind of reminded me of being a I don't know, I did it in my mouth. Kind of reminded me of being a beamish and going into the old shop where in like, the old shop style, I really like that kind of function. So the last two things I got from the the till point were actually two hair care items. The first one was is a new item, it's Willow and the Wisp, and I do regret not buying uh, Drop and Roll and the hairspray. I, I looked at them again, it was just so hot. I just got confused and confuddled and just, yeah. But this is um, Willow and the Wisp, and this is a thickening serum. I don't know if this is the same as Hashtag Gains. Why didn't I pick that up? Oh my God, I'm an idiot. Give fine hair a thickening boost, pump up the volume thanks to sea salt, silken tofu and Epsom salts. I have very fine hair and as you know as I've winched about in the last few videos and this video, it's in dire need of a haircut and I have in mind what I want to do for my hair and I think having some texture and volume in there uh, with this product will make styling a lot more easier. But it's um, silken tofu, tooth racked seaweed gel, um, water, fine sea salt, you've got some PVP which um, is called poly polyvinyl um, pyrolidin, lidone, probably not saying that very well, but that um, helps all the product adhere to the hair and give it a bit of like um, grip. You have ethyl macadamia, well we all know what that is now, um, fresh lemon juice, fresh lime juice, extra virgin olive oil, rose absolute, rose oil, rosewood oil, Oil, benzoin resinoid, xanthan gum. I think that's about it, yeah. So it says fresh lemon and lime juice add shine while extra virgin olive oil improve the tensile strength of the hair. So you've got to just again apply this to lengths and ends and towel dried hair to thicken before styling. Add to roots for extra volume. So let's pop some on the back of my hand. There's one out of the two, shield and Hashtag uh, and Willow in the Whisper. I really love the smell of. So that's what it looks like. Oh! Oh wow, what is that? It's almost, it's sweet. It's like aqua. It's floral. What, is this a new smell? That is unreal. Oh, that should be a shower gel or at least a soap. I can't think what that is. Again, if anybody knows some of the products that I have said that I don't really know what the smell of, please let me know. I want to know what they are. I think this is this is a freak. The, the shield I think is a perfume. It I think is a perfume, but this one I think might be this one. I think is a new smell. And the last thing I got was a bottle of Cynthia Stout. So for those who don't know, Cynthia Stout is being discontinued. So if this is your favorite shampoo, go grab some, stock up on it. It's going the journey. So this is actually a protein shampoo because of stout. Stout is a type of beer. So it says, cheer to protein rich stout. It's served up with cleanser and fresh lemon juice to give hair noticeable gleam and glor and glorious, glorious weight. Yes, my hair is fine, but it's dry. So, and it's fluffy. So I'm all about a little bit of weight. I, I'm very, sometimes I want texture and volume. Sometimes I want something to stop the fluff. Cynthia Stout Shampoo. Uh, it has stout, in brackets beer, water, ammonium laurel sulfate. So I don't know why we can't have more ALS stuff in there. Fine sea salt, fresh lemon juice, uh, uh, wine lees oil, never heard of that before, lemongrass oil, yeast, organic balsamic vinegar. I've never smelt this before, so this is the first time. And it doesn't have too much of a smell, but it has a tang of beer. There's definitely like a beery tang at the end. I'm very excited to try this. And again, if you are wanting to try a shampoo, but might be okay with the fact that, that you're never gonna get it again, you know, go for it. But if you do like Cynthia Stout, get it before it goes. Uh, this size bottle is 12 pounds, which I think is very good uh, value. 
And it says, best enjoyed in the bathroom, massage into wet hair to create lather then rinse out. Please use your <laughs> please use your smooth shiny hair responsibly. After this triumph, uh, triumphantly tipsy lineup, you'll be lying flat. Fresh organic lemon juice and organic balsamic vinegar help the cuticle reflect the light and enhance shine. And it, and, a, and it says, a good to know, a background chatter of wine leaves oil and lemongrass ensure you enjoy all the benefits of the beer while staying sweet scented. Yeah, that sounds really good. I'm very excited. We've just finished um, rehab shampoo. So I'm, I was going to put the Dadio in that I've got there, but I might put in the Cynthia Stout. Hmm, I'm not too sure. But yes, that was everything from my haul. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I could not find a lot of exclusives. I struggled to find a lot of exclusives. So, you know, have I missed something? Can I, is it a case if you can't see for looking? Please let me know. Yeah, cause leave a comment down below. Saying, Sarah, the exclusives are right there. Why can't you see them? And I was like, um, cause I'm an idiot. Cause I was melting. But yeah, let me know what you think of my haul down below. Of course, I will keep you updated with everything that I use. Thank you very much for watching. If you like these types of videos, hauls, lush, those types of things, give it a little thumbs up. And of course, if you like all those things, you can subscribe to the channel. I do lush, or both the lush kitchen subscription boxes. I do beauty subscription boxes. I am trying to look for some more subscription boxes recommend them down below uh, and I also do makeup and around Christmas time I do like to taste test a lot of advent calendars uh, chocolate advent calendars so yeah thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video I'm really tired so yes I'm gonna go have a nice wash in lots of new stuff but yeah thank you very much for watching bye